In this video, I'm going to try and show you how to get 4K video out of a 4K capture card. So I've got this Elgato. I want to show you a quick trick on OBS. What is the trick? If you go to, I, uh, I use the unreliable deck from the same company, which is glitching out all the time. What I'm going to do is I use, you may have, you may have seen my video, you know, that, that thing there, the HD capture card. The only issue with that one is it only does 1080p. So I want to show you in this video how a 1080p video looks right now i am recording this in 1080p like in uh, obs 3500 kilobits a second so not like a really large file i do a number of these recordings so i keep the file size small and put it up on youtube now my camera can go up to 4k so we need to figure out how to make the cam link go into 4k in obs and then make that record in a higher quality because what i do is i stretch out my screen so watch that's 1080p all i'm doing is i've got another button on my unreliable deck where it stretches out that camera so if that's 4k it might be a better quality image when i stretch it out so that's the ultimate goal of that and apparently you can do it on this model of uh, capture card okay so now we're recording in 4k 4k a little bit of lag lag i want to show you a quick trick on obs what is the trick if you go to output you'll see in advanced mode normally you're probably seeing a simple mode you can go to advanced mode and when you're streaming you can encoder you can pick an encoder you'll notice i'm using this middle encoder here what does that actually mean that middle encoder in my system if you're using a dell computer probably similar quick sync h264 i've got x264 at the bottom then i've got amd h264 amd h264 is my graphics card i have an external graphics card like an extra graphics card slotted in x264 is your cpu your main cpu on this computer i actually have an inbuilt graphics card as well so normally if you don't have anything plugged into that monitor you can't use it so if i show you my task manager you can see i've got my cpu which would be the x264 which is up here that's like 3.6 gigahertz i've got my gpu which is on my computer which is uh, extra two gigabytes so that's like an extra two gig of stuff i can use for encoding video then i've got my four gigabyte here for my external graphics card like a slotted in one so if you want to do gaming or you want to stream what i do is i set my streaming graphics card to the computer's gpu which is two gig You'll see right now i'm encoding video on that which is using 50 percent and i'm recording this video in 4k so that frees up your other cpu and your gpu for other tasks so for example if i close this if i go to streaming and use my unbuilt graphic card for just streaming and then i go to recording and here i pick my cpu if you don't have a graphics card you can have a cpu and you're spreading the load if you do have a graphics card you can select the amd graphics card and then that will use the graphics card if i show you an example the thing happening so if i do start recording here and go down to performance you'll see here now 100 percent of my gpu was used there for a bit so that's my external graphics card which i've obviously like an extra graphics card i should say so right now it's doing processing gpu is doing processing for my computer so in theory the moral here is you can use three different cpus if i stop recording you'll see that drop down again so stopping recording because it's 4k is taking a bit of time to encode that let that stop and here you'll see that stopped down to 17 percent now so during the recording bit it was high then it's dropped down however i'm actually doing two 4k video recording clips at the moment you will notice that i'm recording this video as well which is obs the same pc and that's being recorded in let me go settings and see what that's recording in so you should be able to see this as the obs because i have multiple sessions open so the one that i'm recording right now if i go to output we're using recording we're using a quick sync which is like a mix of your gpu and cpu so it gives you gpu internal and external and for streaming i've used that external one so you can easily pick between them so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go through a few different recording settings to see what works best for my computer i'm going to work through the recording 
quality so kilobits per second will start at something like 8000 kilobits a second then move to 5000 just to see what is a quality that my computer can handle remember i will be streaming recording and streaming to tiktok so i need something to balance this out let's have a look at these bit rates 55 5500 kilobits a second and audio 320 kilobits a second 8000 kilobits a second 4k let's see what the usage is on the cpu at the same time Ten using 100 percent of the cpu so now we're using the gpu internal hd gpu 60 percent usage on that shouldn't get any any laggers lags any lags That's normally the 1080p view, this is the 4K view. So that's doing alright, let's try the graphics card, see what Okay, so now we've gone straight to the graphics card. Okay, interestingly enough, a bit of a kick there. So realistically, we could use the... Shouldn't be any, shouldn't be any... Task manager, that's coming out at 4K. How badly is that going to be doing? Check it, check it, check, check. Go videos. That should be recording in 4, 4K. Okay, so let's try that now. 8,000. Stop, start. 100%. Oh, hey, ho. Oh. Okay, so what's going on here now then? Let's check this out. Okay, so 5,000 bit rate. Will that work? So now what I've done is I've flipped that to my GPU. So you'll see my external GPU is 100% usage now. Just here you can see. That's the external GPU 100% and my GPU on my motherboard has gone to 0%. You'll notice the other way around. It was using less of the onboard computer's GPU because it was balancing it out on the GPU and the external GPU. Hopefully this makes sense. I basically got my computer's CPU, a GPU extra and then the main GPU on the computer. So I'm making use of all three of those. If I did not have an extra monitor plugged into my computer's motherboard slot and I'm using Jude monitors, I would not be able to make use of that extra. To summarize, if you're recording like I am on my PC, I will be recording a 4K video onto the hard drive. I'll be live streaming at 1080p and also streaming onto TikTok via another OBS session. So I have discovered that I need to record at 5500 kilobits a second for the 4k video recording and stream at 1080p hopefully this gives you an idea if you're using obs test your system and see what works best for you i'll see you on this next video